welcome everybody welcome to those of you who have joined me in zoom and on facebook Got all the things i can see you all this is absolutely fantastic welcome christiane kirsten leandra leslie star carol hello hello welcome everybody this is fantastic. I've been so excited about this. So, so excited already. So a huge welcome to everybody here live. And of course, if you're catching the replay, I am delighted to be leading you through Limitless Wealth. This is just one of my favorite things to do. It is so, so powerful. And I know that we have our, our clients love to come to, to Limitless. We have people keep keep on returning. So I know that this has a huge impact for you all. Hi, Cammy. Welcome. Welcome. Alrighty. So as everyone is finding us and, and getting settled and, and all the things, I'd love to find out, is this your first time with us? Have you been around the block with us? Um, let me know if this is your first time. And where in the world are you tuning in from? Are you in the Bahamas? <laughs> are you in the UK? <laughs> where Where are you? Where in the world are you? We'd love to love to get a sense of where everyone's tuning in from. Let's just get the chat up here as well. Leslie's in Lancaster. Oh, how cool! I hope the weather's good in Lancaster today. We have had torrential storms here in Barcelona. Leandro, what's the weather been like with you? I know you're in Portugal. It's been awful. <laughs> today <laughs> tropical storms tropical storms i think the, the ground has really welcomed it the ground has really welcomed it Alrighty, so a huge welcome this is the number one wealth energetics masterclass for ceos and coaches this is your path for your next level of breakthrough you where you upgrade your net worth by creating safety in your nervous system so that you can overcome hidden self-worth blocks master wealth energetics so that you can hit your financial revenue goals with complete confidence and find out what is hidden this is a biggie so your blind spots no longer hold you back and slow down the impact that you're here to make i'd love to hear what is the impact that you're here to make what is your business how do you help people are you, are you a product-based business a service-based business a coach let me know in the comments so I can get to know you, know what you are here and how you help people. Your path to breakthrough. This is where you are growing to your next six figures with more ease. And this we do this by healing the six biggest energetic blocks that slow down sales, cash flow, and have an impact on your marketing for entrepreneurs as well. So we're going to kick this off by today. We're going to discover how you can apply the Helix Method model for mastering wealth energetics. So you always know how to be able to have confidence that you can hit your financial revenue goals. Does that sound good? This model is, is, your, is your key to mastering wealth energetics. And we're going to be doing our first giveaway for those live with me. So we have some incredible new gifts. We will need to be live um, with me to to receive one so just to give you a heads up on heads up on that and that's whether you're live in the zoom room or on facebook i've got all the things i can see all the things when we do the draw and today is the start of our journey together so tomorrow we build on what we've done today and the day after so each day builds on the next so tomorrow we're going to be diving into the six energetic blocks and how you're slowing slowing you down we're going to be helixing together so you're going to get to experience that as well and I just wanted to say thank you. It's been amazing to see how many of you have been generously inviting your friends and colleagues, people you think that would really benefit from our time together. So please do continue to do that. And I just wanted to say a massive thank you for sharing. And as a thank you for sharing, we're going to pop your name into our drawer and you've got an opportunity to win a private session with me, which I'm very, very excited about. So there's a number of different ways that you can share and let people know to get your name entered into the draw. You can simply share on, on Facebook or Instagram or whatever your social media platform of choice is <laughs> and share this infographic, which is available in, in the Facebook group. Grab it, share, let people know that you're taking part in this. Let them know what a light bulb moment has been. That will be really inspiring for people. And tag me in it so I can see it as well. And then we'll pop your name into the draw. And of course, as you're friends and colleagues come into the Facebook group. They let us know that you recommended that they come. 
and we'll pop your name into the draw, to the draw then as well. So, so exciting to see what you are all up to. Oh, fantastic. So I just wanted to give a big thank you to our team who are here supporting us this week. We have Princess and Moses. Princess's birthday is tomorrow. So she is having a day off today, but she'll be back tomorrow. So happy birthday, Princess. Um, and uh, Moses will be with us here this week as well. So you'll, we'll be taking care of you, making sure that you can find replays, have your questions answered as we as we go through this journey together. So we'll be chatting with you in DMs. It'll be myself, Moses or Princess in, in, in the emails as well. So if you need our emails for anything, our email is clientcare at louisahavers.com. We'll make sure that we get you to make sure you have everything that you need for our time together. Ah, all righty. So just to take a moment as we are going to set our intentions. Intention setting is a superpower. Wealth Energetics is the business strategy that provides the platform for the success of all other business strategies. And I know that you're here because you know that. So this is awesome. This is how we evaporate the resistance, how we allow ourselves to make bigger, bolder moves, to have the courage to be more visible. Is this resonating for anyone? To be able to contribute powerfully to society, to make that difference, to allow more sales to come into the business, to be able to feel safe and expansive, with high profit margins and feel safe and expansive in implementing tax strategies, investment strategies as we hold more money. So mastering wealth energetics, this is this is how we, we move through the arc of wealth consciousness transformation and it begins here with Limitless Wealth. And for those of you who are coaches and CEOs of service-based businesses, Learning our methods will help you to improve your own practice and explode your clients' results. So I'm so excited to share this with you. So I invite you just to take this moment for yourself to become fully present. You can just let go of all the things that have been going on. Give this moment to yourself. Call all of your energy back to the here and now. And invite you just to consider what is your intention for our time together in Limitless Wealth? How do you want to feel at the end of the masterclass? What revenue and impact are you committed? Committed, you decided. There's a deciding energy here. You're committed to creating in your business over the next 30 days, over the next 90 days, that's the that's the quarter. We're gonna focus on the next 30 days because that's gonna create that ripple effect for the, for the quarter. So let me know in the comments, if you're on the replay, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to know what is your intention? What is your intention for our time together? Let's see in the comments. <clears throat> the meeting password to get onto the Zoom, I think off the top of my head is 1717. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm doing that off the top of my head. <laughs> All right, you've got visibility. Yes, that's a sticking point. All so what is your intention? Let me see these in the comments. Let me see them in the chat. Go on the replay, pop them in the pop them in the comment section. And now I really want you to allow yourself to feel this. So I invite you to just take a moment to connect with this intention that you've just created, your intention for the next 30 days, your intention for how you wish to feel at the end of the Limitless Wealth Masterclass. And just allow yourself, so breathing in for four, breathing out for four, just allowing yourself to come down into your heart center. Allow yourself to really tune into the feelings in your body as you feel what it would be like 
to receive this or more. Just do a little energy body scan. What do you notice? And now I'm gonna invite you to expand this. Can you allow yourself to receive even more? Just taking a moment just to really sit with this and breathe. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four, really allowing yourself to activate the frequency of desire. What do you truly desire? Have you been creating your intention from a case of, well, that will be enough to take care of the expenses and to put a bit of a breather on? And then I've got to go again. Or wouldn't it be nice if you collapse the timelines and allowed yourself to desire even more? We're just taking a moment, just sitting with this. And I invite you to consider, can you give yourself permission to desire more? What do you truly desire? Allow yourself to desire a little bit more. What do you truly desire? Allow yourself to feel this desire in your body. And when you have achieved this desire and you have been to the places that you desire to go, the trips around the world, the holidays, meeting up with friends. Spending special time with family and you've experienced the experiences you desire, how are you celebrating the success in business, the impact that you're making? You are feeling fully surrounded by love and abundance. Just allow yourself to notice, how does this feel in your body? What feels different in your body? Notice how the cells in your body are responding. How is your heart responding? How good does it feel? How much good can you handle? As we've really anchored in that intention, started to connect with it. I'd love to hear how that felt in the comments. Keep them coming in. This is awesome. This also helps me to get to know you so I can tailor this experience for you. If you haven't shared your introduction post in the Facebook group, please do so. But also let me know in the comments. What's your business? Are you a coach? Are you a healer? Are you a service-based entrepreneur? Are you a real estate agent, mortgage broker? Let me know how you help people. And I would love to know how long have you been in business? What's changed recently? Because there are some subtle nuances as to how the energetic blocks show up at different stages of business and what kind of things might pop up and all the things I can talk, talk through these as we go on this journey together, on this arc of wealth consciousness transformation together. It is my intention to serve you for you to have break a breakthrough that creates unparalleled results in your own life.
And what I'm sharing with you in our time together is how I balance the inner healing work with our impactful manifesting rituals, how I navigate through my emotional stickiness that always comes up when I've expanded beyond those inner default set points, when I'm not embodied in the future version of myself that is required to get me to where I want to go and to make the difference I came here to make. And my first three years in, in business where I was getting you know all the foundational pieces in place and I set up my signature programs, training in energy psychology and healing modalities and Akashic Records, actually were very, very hustling. <laughs> there was very little flow. And I realized I had literally just swapped the corporate hamster meal and then recreated the exact same space <laughs> experience in the entrepreneurial space I don't know if anyone else has rec recognized that for themselves like what's going on I've different environments but it's the same person so it's the same experience even though some of the characters might look slightly different actually it's the same experience so whilst I grew to six figures and was working with the most amazing clients it, it wasn't sustainable and it was exhausting and I was studying and contemplating you know what are the needle movers what's going to really make the difference I knew I had to I knew I knew how to grow a successful business because I've built many, having led many, but I'd had burnout before and I didn't want to frazzle my nervous system again. And for me, when I, it was such a, a key turning point for me when I realized the key was in my identity. And when I, when I left social services, I thought I'd feel such lightness as I, closed down that laptop for the last time it's so weird doing that final email thinking I'm never going to see the reply after 13 years of being there and I handed over my laptop to the security guards they had no clue who I was and that I was kind of you know leaving dun, 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 after 13 years of being there so I sort of just walked out very unceremoniously they all carried on doing their thing I had such inner conflict going on internally. I had been, <laughs> I've been so resistant to having any sort of leaving party, much to my boss's annoyance, because she really wanted to throw a big, big party. And it was just a reflection of this conflict that I had. I was trying to pretend that I wasn't leaving, even though I'd coordinated all of it, I'd arranged all of it. This is what exactly what I wanted. But I was just so confused by this emotional roller coaster that was going on inside. But what really shook me was when I realized what these all these different emotions were. And it was grief. I was grieving who I thought I was. I was not expecting that one. I was in, in this state of, oh my word, who am I without this role that I had hidden myself behind? And I realized I had just, I just bought into the illusion that I had created for myself that I was somehow that role. That role was my identity. And without it, of course, I actually got to find how, who I was to really get to be me because at that point I didn't know who I was sounds such a cliche doesn't it I don't know if anyone else has had that experience really the true me was hidden behind this, the, the mask of being busy the mask of success I call it because when it's a mask it's just people running around being very very busy <laughs> frazzled nervous systems heading for burnout So from that experience, I threw myself into my new role and started to create my new identity. And I had a revelation how I how I perceived myself and my identity was just absolutely key to the kind of life that I was creating and the kind of business that I was creating. So this is so important. I continue to do my own inner work. I continue to grow and up level. I continue to have energetic blocks, resistances, all the things that we all do as human beings. I'm on my own journey. And I know that these blocks come up for everyone. I work with people at all different levels in their business. And these blocks, as I said, they come up for everybody at various points in time. The key is we want to get people into peak flow state so things can get easier. Now have subtle nuances, but they bubble up when we haven't embodied the, the future self-consciousness that we need to create growth in our business. This is so key because if we have a $500 a year business, we aren't going to be aligned with a million dollar strategy because our brain is wired, wired and our body, our frequency is wired for that 500K. Our nervous system is wired for that 500K. That's what's feeling safe. So that's what it will allow in and we're calibrated to. And that's what we're experiencing in our reality. 
So this is key. We need to, to change this. And this is why I want to share with you the Helix Method model for mastering wealth energetics so that you always know how to have complete confidence that you'll hit your financial revenue goals. Does that sound good? Let me know in the comments if this is sounding good. I know that I read all the comments. If I don't speak to them whilst we're live, please know I will circle back and I, I, I read them all. So please keep them coming. When we consistently and intentionally focus on the steps I'm going to share with you to master our wealth energetics, then our transformation, it, it, it is inevitable. I really want you to know that. If you're having a, a hard time at the moment, there's some financial frazzling going on, know that your transformation is inevitable. This is a data point in time. And because of this experience, you're going to be able to trust yourself more than you thought. Agree. What we all want is we all want to improve our, our practice and to deliver exceptional results for our clients and for our customers. We all want to move beyond the resistance that we feel that, that keeps things the same. Like, oh my God, it's Groundhog Day. Like it's Groundhog Day is locked in. And if you're a coach, your clients want that too. They want the transformational results. They want them rapidly, they want them now. We all want to feel like we can do anything we want, whenever we want, and to feel really, really good about generating, receiving, circulating plenty of money, to feel financially relaxed. Instead of as the business is growing, suddenly panicking that everything's going to suddenly disappear. We're worrying the money's going to go away. We're never going to be able to do it again. We want to feel like we're operating at our highest level, our best self. And that we can see this in our operating reality. And, and we know, don't we, that when we're activated to that peak flow state, that we are an energetic match for our financial intentions. That's what we want to activate so that you see this change in your reality. Next 30 days, next in this next quarter, this ripple effect, without frazzling your nervous system, without feeling like you're going to work harder or twisting yourself up like a pretzel. You've got this. We're making a change. This is limit as well. And this is the thing, because we can have this duality within our consciousness. We were tapping into the desire, your desires, for desiring more, desiring to make a bigger impact, to take your company further, to develop your services, to offer new programs. I know many of you are here because you're wanting to offer the Helix Method to your clients. And then resistance kicks in because we've stepped forward and we can then experience an inner conflict. So let me know as we chat these through if any, any of these resonate for you. Who here? <laughs> we could play. Uh, resistance bingo who here has been shooting on themselves or recognizes that that's a pattern for them they should on themselves so it's like sounds something like you should be happy because you've got the six figure salary you should be happy because you've got the seven figure salary or you should be happy because you've got the spacious home or the relationship you desire but somewhere there's this nagging growing feeling that something's missing Does that resonate? Who here knows that every time they accomplish a big goal, they just move on <laughs> acknowledging it and adding another one because they don't feel like it's enough. So they're not pausing to really allow themselves to receive that. They're just moving through that experience. So no matter how much you make, are you in that place where you're still not as happy as you feel like you want to be or this can come up so often for people your health is suffering or perhaps you've worked really hard to get to where you are and you've sacrificed going out with friends time with loved ones holidays 
even sleep, who's pulled some all-nighters here, <laughs> so that you can put 150% of your time and energy and resources into growing your business. The thing is then what that creates is, then we're looking at that next level of income going, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? I've done all of this to get me to there. It's taken everything out of me. How am I gonna get there? Sounds like this is resonating. And it, this one may resonate as well. It feels like things aren't moving as fast as they should in our business, another way we should on ourselves. My business should be further along. Even, even though X, Y, Z. Markets can change. Things can happen outside of your immediate control. The online space has changed dramatically since I've been in this over the last eight, nine years. Can't believe that, it's incredible. There have been so many different seasons. What might, might have worked before can suddenly stop working in your business. You're like, how's that happened? That can then send you down a rabbit hole instead of thinking, okay, this is an opportunity to innovate, to go deeper, to strengthen our identity and our resilience. To consider what is asking to come through me for that next evolution and growth. And all of this, as we see in the online space, we can see other people seemingly moving forward faster with more ease. And they're like thinking, oh my God, that's triggering me so much. How is it they're having it so easy? So just paying attention to, okay, so I've got this desire and then I've got these inner conflicts going on inside. And anywhere we feel like we're behind, no matter how much we've accomplished, what we're doing there is that we're just telling ourselves repeatedly over and over, it's not good enough. Or for those of you where the business has flown and you're in a surge and like, this is incredible, I want it to continue, but there's an element of stress and anxiety and, and worry bubbling up. And maybe you thought that that would have all vanished as your business grew, but actually it's there or it might have got worse because the root hasn't been dealt with. Let me know what, look, what resonates. And if you're on the replay as well, do you join the conversation. Let me know what resonates in the, in the chat and the comments. So for those of you in business for a while, you've already learned the marketing, the sales, the business systems, the finance, the growth strategies, all the things to grow your business. You might think you, you haven't because your income has plateaued, but actually giving these areas extra attention and energy hasn't solved a thing because they aren't what's holding you back. And I've facilitated way over 10,000 Helix Method sessions and work with hundreds of entrepreneurs at all levels of business, six-figure business owners, multi-six-figure business owners, millionaires. And there are some key blocks that always come up. I'm going to start to dive into them tomorrow. And these blocks make it harder to grow your business. The blocks where you believe that you've got, you haven't got enough energy to, to do what it takes impacts your well-being and your stress levels, creating this hidden anxiety, strain on the body. And the thing is, is if you ignore these signs, you are at risk of, of frazzling your nervous system if you keep pushing through and of, of burnout. And I know I've talked about this before in previous um, free masterclasses, et cetera, and it's one that always resonates with people. So I'd love to know has anyone here had burnout? Know someone who's had burnout? Because I find it is a key fear for entrepreneurs. So let's just take a moment to, to feel into this. We're recognizing we've got the desire. We've got our current identity rocking and rolling over here and these inner conflicts that are starting to reveal us themselves. So I'd like you to think, what is the belief that you hold 
if your company grew to its next stage, so whatever that stage is for you, 50K mark, six figure mark, multi six figures, seven figures, what is the belief that you hold? So as you tune into this, just think, so do you believe to get there, you'll have to work harder? Do you worry you'll get burnt out? So let me know in the in the comments, like, yes, I'm afraid of burnout. Yes, I'm afraid of having to work harder. I'm afraid of missing out with family, children. I'm afraid of more visibility. I believe to get to that next level, I'm gonna to have to be more visible. I believe to get to that next level, I will be judged more. Let us know in the comments, what is the belief that you're aware, your story that rumbles around in the back of your head as you're going about your business? Can I really do it? Anyone heard themselves sort of saying a version of that? What if I make it and then it all, it all vanishes, it all disappears? Let's see what's coming up for everybody. We're going to flush it out. So this is how we're starting to see this duality that we all have. So we can hold our vision and our desires and have this duality of these fears, these inner conflicts in our energetic field. That all impacts our vibration and our coherence in our vibration that we're sending out into the universe. This is where we can find ourselves going on a vibrational roller coaster because our vibration is affected by our identity, the environment, our results, it creates this feedback loop from our energy corresponding with our reality. So this is, this is why we must focus on mastering wealth energetics. Okay, this is great, keep them coming in. So recognizing afraid of burnout, having to work hard, afraid of changing who you are as a person if you receive a lot of money. Right, it's going to take months or even years to get there. Now I've gone into survival mode. Okay. Let's get you been, been burnt out. Struggle to okay, in relation to visibility. Okay. This is this is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Alrighty. This is the Helix Method model for mastering wealth energetics. This is where creating the consciousness of your future self with our multi-dimensional healing and manifesting rituals. This is how we create rapid, long-lasting results. Your consciousness, your frequency is made up of three levels of consciousness and they all need to be in alignment to manifest effortlessly. Your higher self, your super consciousness, your conscious mind that thinks it's running the show, Subconscious is actually like, no, I've got this. <laughs> and the subconscious level is creating our reality in line with all the programming that we've all received throughout our lifetime, our birth, our parents, transgenerational patterns, media programming, societal programming, cultural programming. All these, all these things make up our identity. And the subconscious level is leading the way. Leading and creating an alignment with our identity with 100% success rate. So our identity is made up from our, our reality models. So these are self-concepts, clusters of beliefs, if you like. And our beliefs that we have feed into these self-concepts, our emotions, all impact our behavior and then our action, and then that's, influences our reality and then we see the results in our reality and then it comes back and it influences those results influence our action and our behavior and our emotions and our beliefs and then we reinforce those beliefs and that anchors in that identity and all of this is making up our human wi-fi all of this is in your energy your thoughts are electric sending electric waves your emotions magnetic sending out an electromagnetic wave into the universe your frequency saying hey Bring me those experiences that are in resonance with this, with what I've got going on here, please. But when we fully understand this model and apply this model, we master wealth energetics. And as we dive into this 
I just wanted to take a moment just to explain what's going on energetically with this, with this model. And the simplest way to think of this is that there are, in energy psychology, there's, we talk of three energetic states within the expansion and contraction states. So peak flow, this is the one we want. This is where things are easy. We're like, oh my word, I'm co-creating with the universe. Synchronicity is just popping up left, right and center. The easier it gets, the easier it gets. This is the expansion state. This is the one we want. This is when we're aligned with our desires. There are no inner conflicts. Things are just slotting into place. And we have that sense of like, I just know it's happening. That neutral calmness. Our nervous system is feeling safe. Our higher self is just surpassing themselves with their wisdom, giving us the downloads, the aligned action to take. We're feeling amazing. And then we have the contraction state. So there's two here, the resistance and energy reversals. So we have energy reversals. So this is basically describing energy going into the opposite direction to where you want it to go. When you have energy reversals, you, you've become stuck or frozen in time. Stuck into a particular way of being. So it's reversed the flow of energy around that aspect, around that self-concept, that experience. So it's created an, a default set point energetically. And so the flow of energy is moving away from what you want. So when you find yourself putting more and more time and energy into changing something and you feel like you're moving away from it, or there's repeating patterns, there's likely an energy reversal there. Does that resonate for anyone here? You're like, oh, I think I've got an energy reversal to do with something. And they come, we all have them. And they come from experiences in our past where we were shocked, traumatized, didn't have a coping strategy for something. Our nervous system was triggered into the fight, fight, freeze, fall response. And that imprint, that energetic imprint held in our subconscious, in our energy field. So any time we have another circumstance that is somehow energetically connected in our subconscious, this energetic loop is then triggered. And when we feel them triggered, we then go into that contraction state. And then we have resistance triggered by our current identity to protect its beliefs, emotions, or fears, experience of reality. This is where it can start to feel like, the only way I can describe it, I think just describes it well, is like pushing treacle up a hill. You're going in the right direction, but you're like, this is so slow. <laughs> and it can feel like a push-pull because you've got dual beliefs going on. You can believe I deserve to receive 50K. You can believe I'm undeserving to receive 50K on different levels of your consciousness. And then that creates that resistance. That creates that inner conflict that we were talking about. Is this resonating? Anyone recognizing where they may be in a peak flow state, where they may be having some resistance, some energy reversals popping up? We want to change the energy around the reversals and resistances because that's draining a lot of your energy field for your manifesting. So that the more that we have you in that peak flow state, because you can have be in all, all these energetic states at any one moment in time, but the more we get you into that peak flow state, the more swiftly you're manifesting. The more you're in coherence, things feel easier and easier. So this is what we are up to with the Helix Method, creating the, the consciousness of your future self, creating that peak flow state, that expansive state so you can hold and create more, create a new reality with more ease. And as we're on the topic of energetic states, just wanted to highlight this because this one often surprises people. The subconscious doesn't necessarily know the difference between excitement and nervousness. Do you remember anyone ever saying to you, perhaps as a kid, when you were feeling really nervous about something, don't be nervous, just tell yourself you're excited. It's the same feeling. And they sort of say it to you as a way to sort of combat nerves. Anyone else get that? Was that just me? <laughs> well, here's the thing, because we can be super excited about a huge leap in the business and our body's going, it's nerves. <laughs> the amygdala starts to get activated. And before we know it, we can have an energetic reversal from having huge growth in business. And if we don't know 
how to transmute it or to look for it, because it might be there. It's going to be hanging out in our energy field. The little magnet vibrating there, bringing what is in resonance with that to us. So this work is really important and it's deep and transformational. It has a ripple effect across you, whole life, your family's life, your business, for the rest of your life. So I'm so excited to, uh, to spend this week together on, on this. So let's just take a quick pulse check to see if having reflected on that, so the peak flow states, the resistance states, the energy reversal states, just would love you to take a moment just to think about, okay, so thinking about your energy field, do you recognize resistance in the areas of business? So in sales, marketing, products that you're offering, clients that you're working with, cash flow, your leadership consciousness, your wealth consciousness. Let me know in the in the comments, where's feeling in peak flow state, where's in resistance? Where is resistance shutting you down from taking action? Or you were, perhaps this is the one, you're doing all the things, things are going really well, and then you're like, hang on, what happened? I suddenly stopped. Subconscious going, yes. <laughs> Phew, got them to stop. You don't want to change things over here. Perhaps you recognize that in one area of your business, let's say in terms of finances, there's some aspects of that that are in flow and then other aspects that are in resistance. This is so key because when we take full energetic responsibility for what we can create, it's actually very empowering because then we know that we can consciously change all of this. Even the stuff that we've manifested unconsciously, because we all do. Like, how did I allow that all to come in? And it, it truly is an absolute, absolute game changer. And there are some key principles that we live by in the Helix Method, and when we decide to consciously create our reality, these reality creation principles, think of the, I want you to think of these as truths, that they underpin the keys to creating limitless wealth and exploding through your revenue ceiling in business. Strategy is only gonna get you so far, but mastering the energetics will allow you to create with more flow, ease, exponential expansion. So in terms of mastering wealth energetics, these are the, Reality creation principles empower everything in the universe and in your life works. But these principles are, are universal truths. The first one is everything is energy, including your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, and these all form part of your identity and your human Wi-Fi. The second is energy follows your attention. So where is your attention? Your attention is your greatest asset. As where your attention goes, your energy goes, your attention becomes your intention. And boy, are we up against it at the moment with all the way the social media is trying to train our attention to only be able to focus on things for like two seconds. You've got to create a reel that's only one second long because <laughs> people's attention spans are so short. We're getting, we're receiving that programming all the time. So then our consciousness goes, oh, my attention span is short. We really need to take care of our consciousness, what we're allowing into our field. Training our attention. Our attention is a superpower. So it's key to be intentional with our attention, which is why you always hear me ask you, what's your intention? Principle three, the subconscious is your friend and wants to keep you safe and can't fault it, 100% committed to being right. Wants to keep you in alignment with your identity, your behavioral patterns, these are default set points. This is so key. Your self-awareness is key to be able to recognize these patterns so that you can then create that pattern interrupt, rewire it and replace it. And this is so helpful to actually know that. 
our subconscious is committed to 100% right. So as we take control of what is in our subconscious, it's going to be inevitable. Our transformation is inevitable. The subconscious is very good <laughs> at keeping things the same. And I'm really good at spotting patterns that keep you at that same revenue level. We get to the roots of, of the behavior by working across the different layers of consciousness. And there's some things to be mindful of, which I will dive into tomorrow. So be sure to be here tomorrow so that we can really unpack, unpick this for you and go and dive in deep. The fourth principle, to, to create a different reality, we must have the identity of the version of you who already has this. So who you be in any moment, the energy and intention behind the actions that you're taking. Who's ever thought, oh, I've just got to get this email out. <laughs> got to email my list. Rather than, I can't wait to email my list. I'm going to light a candle, just set some time to sit down and really think about what's this conversation that I'm having with the people who have allowed me to pop into their inbox. People will feel the different energy. Principle five, creating alignment with your higher self, your subconscious and conscious mind will bring you into resonance with your desire so much more quickly. You'll receive inspired actions. You get to act on these and take the aligned action. It's so exciting seeing the momentum building once this is really unlocked. And when you create from the higher planes, you're then able to be completely non-attached to the outcome. Because when you're attached to the outcome, you're actually creating from lower planes of consciousness, from the astral plane. It's got a slower vibration. There's a lot of ego there, conscious mind kind of coming in. <laughs> and it requires a hell of a lot more effort to manifest. So this is why co-creating with higher self consciousness is just so magical. And what we're amplifying this week and this is why our clients have such incredible results. And the coaches that we've trained in the Helix Method, their clients have such unparalleled results as well. Yes, it's true. We can create lack. We can create abundance. Exactly. We're powerful to shift in energetics. Yeah, completely. Completely. The sixth principle, you will receive what your subconscious feels safe to receive, which means... Yay! Your capacity to receive can always be expanded. I talk a lot about soothing the nervous system to feel safe about allowing more in. I live by these principles and, and working with them is how I've changed my relationship with money, my relationship with myself, my health, broke through my revenue ceiling. Uh, and I continue to work with these principles and they're the foundations behind all our trainings and our certification programs and how I help my clients elevate their consciousness with the Helix Method, which heals unresolved and hidden traumas, trapped emotions and limiting beliefs that are all held within your body's intelligence, within the levels of consciousness and your energy field. We do the deep inner healing balance with our daily manifesto manifestation rituals that are so impactful. So this will change your life. It changes who you be and you get to Think and experience different things as you and as you allow more in, as you as you take control of who it is that you want to become. And when your vibration is high and you are an energetic match for your desires and you're making decisions from a place of that place of expansion and, and not contraction, things flow and you trust yourself more and the universe more, and momentum, it just starts to build. I, For me, I think it's, it's you know, it's easy to take energetic responsibility when things are going well. I did that, but it takes commitment and courage, vulnerability to be energetically responsible when we've stopped doing the things that we know that worked, or we've suddenly realized that somehow something has come into our experience. And we truly get this about being energetically responsible. And the thing is, the cells in our bodies, right, they get addicted to the emotions that they're used to feeling. And our subconscious will masterfully recreate the experience so it can get that chemical hit from that feeling. 
This is one of the reasons why we can have sickness, sickness after a windfall of income, or the fear can start to creep in. Everything's going really well, and then suddenly we feel really afraid. So then we suddenly stop doing our manifesting rituals. We feel that resistance kick in. Got a good old story going on in the head while we're not doing it. And then we believe those thoughts. Subconscious goes, yes, job done. <laughs> Back we go. This is, this is a reminder down that our cells in our bodies get addicted to the emotions that we're used to feeling and addicted to the feeling of stress, embarrassment, shame, guilt. So think of these as current set points of self-worth and our subconscious will masterfully recreate that experience. So it can get that chemical hit. Has anyone else found that, that had that experience where you're like, I was all in flow and then I stopped doing the thing that was working. <laughs> Maybe you found yourself, you were loving a program and suddenly you stopped doing the, 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 the uh, content, stopped showing up live on the calls or watching the radio plays or whatever it was. Suddenly feeling too tired to take action. Or telling yourself you're about to burn out, feeling overwhelmed. My body's having that, that withdrawal. It's going, oh, I need that fix. I need to feel some stress, please. Even though it is my brain. What? No thanks. So the body pulls us back. Right down. It's all happening at that cellular level. That's why we need to be held and supported in containers when we're breaking through. So our blind spots and our body's chemistry and the subconscious doesn't pull us back. In creative ways. Those same old default patterns. So it's our consciousness that creates the reality and our reality is a reflection of our consciousness. Is this landing? Let me know what's been a, a light bulb moment for you or something you're like, yeah, I know that. And it's just landing a little bit differently for me today. Let me know in the comments. What's landing for you on Facebook? Let me know in the comments. So it's your identity that creates the paradigms and concepts. Simple as those groups of beliefs that create the beliefs and your emotions and feelings that inform your behavior and your action. That experience then feeds back and reinforces your behavior, emotions, beliefs, concepts, identity. It's like a feedback loop. And it is our consciousness that we need to consider and the different layers of our consciousness. So think of this as the iceberg of our conscious, consciousness. So our conscious mind, that's where we're intentional. And we have our higher self, our subconscious mind. And what we want to have is our higher self leading the way. And the more we raise our frequency, the more connected we are with our higher self. This is what we do within the Helix Method, really amplifying that connection to your higher self, the super consciousness. So you're aligned, your layers of consciousness are aligned. The easier it gets, the easier it gets. So we must have our higher self on board for manifesting. And if we're out of alignment with our higher self, that's where we can create this feeling of driving down the road of life. And then we can feel like we've got one foot on the brake and one foot on the put on the pedal <laughs> that makes sense we've got a powerful technique that i'll introduce you tomorrow how we do this in the helix method so to wrap up we've shared the helix method model for mastering wealth energetics you have the exact steps to focus on we're going to be diving into this tomorrow in mastering wealth energetics so you can start to have that complete confidence that your financial goals are done they're already done 
they're done, they're done, they're done. We've shared the reality creation principles, you know that how this works. We've really started to focus in on your intention and brought your attention to your intention. This is your superpower. And what it is that you desire for the next 30 days, your next quarter. I invite you to pop your intentions into the Facebook group. To consider what we've done together today, the desire activation at the beginning, share your intentions in the desire activation thread as opposed to pin to the, pin to the, um, the top of the Facebook group. With some prompts that take you through what I took you through earlier today. Let me hear and see your desires, how it feels in your body. Everyone who's Commenting in that thread and pop your name into the draw to, to win a private one-to-one -one with me as well. If it feels aligned, please do continue to share and invite everybody. Everybody's welcome to come and join us. We'll have a replay so they can tune in. So appreciate you sharing. And I would love to know what has been your takeaway from today? And how connected to your desire do you feel at this moment in time? So on a scale of one to 10, let me know in the comments what you're, where you're feeling, how expansive and aligned to that intention that you set at the beginning. And you've got a seven. Any other numbers? Six. Okay, okay. Get these coming in. And as a member of the masterclass, you're invited to book an energetic alignment audit with me. So this is for CEOs, leaders, and coaches. Your business is established. You're wanting to grow to that six-figure mark. Let's tune in. These audits are hugely impactful. My intention is for people to be able to walk away with something that's going to make a difference straight away. So if you haven't had one before, book in. Let's get you get you moving. We can tailor your experience of what you're experiencing together this week in those audits. Tomorrow we're going to be helixing together our energy practices. So bring your journal, have a glass of water to hand. And this is very exciting. All right, so let's, we're going to do the live giveaway. I said we're going to do a live giveaway. Okay, so you've got to be on live with me right now. <laughs> so I'm going to do it now. Let's see who's here. We've got on Facebook and in the, in the Zoom room. I can grab everybody. So pop your takeaways in the chat because that is how we are popping your names into the draw. I'll pop the link for the desire activation in the uh, comments, but it is in the featured post in the group. I'll do that for you shortly. Okay, so here we go. What are your takeaways? <clears throat> see. We've got charity, we've got trust. Focusing on body, future self, 100K into your subconscious mind. Yes. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Take away the energy, create new energy that allows me to expand into my new way of being. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All righty. Okay. Let's have a drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> just go do counting. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So the winner is. Are you ready? Drum roll. Tapping my my nails on my computer to try and create a drum roll effect. The winner is Lillian. 
Ogbogo, huh? Please tell me how to pronounce your surname because I would like to get that correct. But Lillian, you have won. Congratulations. So the prize is a free ticket to the Helix Method Success Codes activations where we're creating a six-figure leap. Congratulations. Yes, happy dance. <laughs> I love it. Thank you to everybody for sharing your takeaways. We're going to do another live giveaway tomorrow as well. Um, you do have to be on live to, to experience these giveaways. Don't worry if you're catching the replay and you're like, I want to win a prize. There's plenty of ways you can win some prizes as well. Um, so by sharing and inviting people to come and join us, um, by taking part and commenting in the in the uh, homework threads and all the things, it all counts. We've got you lots of opportunities for to win some prizes. All righty, we will be back tomorrow to dive into the six energetic blocks that slow down your next level of success. You're gonna understand how these have been impacting you and showing up in your life. We're gonna be helixing together and we'll have another live giveaway as well. So let me know in the comments what your intention is. Are you gonna be here live? Are you gonna be on the replay? If you're watching the replay again, let me know what your intention is. Are you gonna be here live or on the replay? I'll be hanging out in the Facebook group this afternoon, making sure I've caught everyone's comments, read everyone's comments, read everyone's comments in, in Zoom room as well. Sending you all so much love. And I cannot wait to be back here with you tomorrow again. I'm gonna leave the Zoom room open for a moment so you've got an opportunity to grab the QR code if you haven't yet booked your energetic alignment audit. You might just be a few best practices away from a leap in your business that will get you on the right path. As I said, these are hugely valuable. My intention is that these are impactful for you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Sending you all lots and lots of love.